Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches of the latest highlight highlighting palette by Lime Crime. Um, as you guys know, I've got pretty much, I have got all of the other ones. I've got the Highlight Opals palette, the Blossoms palette, the Mermaids palette is the last one I showed you guys. And this one is called the Unicorns palette. And I was umming and eyeing about whether or not I was going to actually get it. And then I was like, well, you got the other ones. And I have, it's not like I haven't used it. I used it in uh, one of my tutorials recently as well. And I've been using this on my lid more so than on my face. Mostly because of the colours, because it's a pink, a green and a lavender shade. Which are not necessarily shades that people tend to wear on the skin. Um, sometimes I do, I don't know about the green, it can look a little bit green on me <laughs> so and the pink one is a little bit I can wear it but like quite softly without it being too intense and then the lavender one is actually quite wearable so I bought this from Love Makeup in the UK and you can obviously buy it from Lime Crime's website as well so here is the packaging obviously depending on how the light hits it is how you see it and then you open it up and these are the shades inside the shade is called Happy Land, Frolic and Daydreaming. I assume they have something to do with unicorns. I don't know anything about unicorns other than they look cute. Um, but uh, just like with the other palettes of these, the quality is excellent. There is very high metallic shine, but it's not glitter. None of these are glittery. They're just very shiny. So you will look full on metallic. You won't look greasy. In terms of whether or not it shows up any imperfections on your skin, slightly. I do have textured skin and it slightly accentuates the texture, but not too much. But I have also been using these on my eyes as well. It looks amazing for like really intense, high shine metallic looks that you might want to have on your face. So I am personally very happy with this. I think there are some other products. There are some of their diamond crushes. I bought one of them. I don't have it with me right now. I think it's called Over the Rainbow. And it's like a glittery gold. And I actually wore it on Halloween on top of some other lipstick and it looked amazing. But then there was like a lavender one and I was like, it's going to make your teeth look yellow. And then I think another pink one maybe and I was like, meh. So I just kind of just stuck with this one. So I'm very happy with this. And I think the quality is amazing. So I just, I'm just going to show you some swatches quickly now. So here is all three of them. If you can see the one called Daydreaming, almost doesn't look really lavendery. It almost looks kind of whitish. And that's probably why... Um, it's more wearable on my skin. Obviously the green one frolic is very intense and very green and I think it will definitely look amazing more on the eyes than on the face. And then Happy Land, I think it's more of a matter of personal preference. I have used it on my cheekbones, it looked amazing. I mixed it in with my blusher as well and I have used it on my eyes too. I would also say that the lavender one maybe has a bit of glitter in it whereas the other ones are more metallic high shine. I'm just reading what their description says. Electric pink and green and mauve gold shift. I don't really get gold from that one though. That's the thing. They're talking about the lavender one. It says, we dare you to wear these three shades separately or together for a brilliant rainbow effect. The thin silky formula melts seamlessly into the skin and adapts to your complexion. Lasts all day, no reapplications needed. Makes you feel like a unicorn. Well, I do have to agree with those claims because I absolutely love it. It says, look greasy. What it won't do is look greasy, gray, glittery or unflattering. But then at the same time, at the top, it says this is the most outrageously 80s highlighter line crime I've ever done. More pigment, more glow and even more glitter. But then when it says what it won't do is it says look glittery. So how have you contradicted yourself in one paragraph? I don't understand that one. And it will not, it will just highlight the skin and it... It also won't look unflattering, highlight the skin imperfections or enlarge pores. Um, yes, I would say it definitely does not enlarge pores, but if you have got a bit of texture in that area, it will show them up a little bit. So that's it really. Sorry, it was a very quick, very short little <laughs> review, but then it is a £32 palette. So I do want to show you guys what it looks like, to let you know what my thoughts are in case you are considering buying it. I will have to be honest with you, if I had to pick one out of all four of them, I would probably say that Highlight Blossoms is my favourite. Highlight Opals is second. 
highlight mermaids third and this one fourth and i'm just purely going on wearability because i know that the blossoms one has definitely got more golds it's more flattering towards deeper skin tones as well and these are not necessarily the kind of shades for your everyday sort of gal but you may consider getting it in the future or you may want to really up your eye game and have more intense metallic looks it's up to you so uh what else oh and on my lips i am wearing anastasia Beverly Hills dazed liquid lipstick and that's it so i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe let me know what your thoughts are are you gonna get it maybe not hmm? let's talk below i'll see you all in the next video